Files. Press start to begin. Aloha, everyone, and welcome back to Zero Bonus Round. We are back with more Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. I'm your host, John Mugiwa Jam. Joined as always by my co-host, Chat Peanut. Hey, and low lives. We're back in Hawaii after uh, the VTubers blew Kiryu's cover. Now everybody in Hawaii and Japan is after us. Although, to be honest with you, Kiryu's whole pretend I'm dead story is fucking stupid. Or at least it wasn't before you know, when they were deciding, oh, this is the end of Kiryu's story. Let's have the series focus on somebody else. But nope, they wrote themselves in the corner and now it's dumb. <laughs> By the way, fitting that we're playing Yakuza Le or Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth today, because what just got announced out of the blue last night? A fucking Like a Dragon uh, TV series on uh, Prime Video. And it comes out this year. Yeah, like no bit of a nothing. They just Who knew I had it in me? Let's announce it. Is it just me, or is every other game company trying to kneecap Jeff Keighley's show right now? Because the stuff's gonna get announced before this, his big Summer Games Fest thing. Everyone's trying to knee kneecap Jeff Keighley's show, including Jeff Keighley. Because he was on a Q&A and people were asking him if they're gonna have a Kingdom Hearts 4 announcement. He's like, oh, uh, there won't be... I, I wouldn't expect anything for Kingdom Hearts. By the way, I also wouldn't expect any one more things. I'm like... Bro, what the fuck is you doing? You don't do this right before your show, when you're hyping up your show the week of. What are you doing? Well, you don't do this, period. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh. Ichiban, bad news up ahead. Yeah, Barracudas, Ganja. Damn it. I'm gonna find another way. Oh, we probably have to go around this way. See if we can outrun them, guys. Wait a minute. We just passed by the bar. I just had a thought. Oh, that bond's gonna unlock as the story progresses. Okay, so nothing for them yet. Uh, you got the wrong guy. Uh oh. I'll uh -oh. leave you in. The battle is on. Okay. And now we're definitely holding up traffic. Jellyfish juice. We I picked this up uh, when we had to restart our episode. What's this? Oh, that's vile. Oh, he threw a poisonous God. jellyfish. So yeah, we're getting a live action like a dragon show. And hopefully it's better than the uh, the movie that they got that Japan did back in the 2000s. Uh, I didn't even know there was a movie until someone talked about it. I mean, they still had the camp. That's the thing, Amazon. You cannot just have it be serious dark drama. It had. It better be fucking goofy as hell too, or it's not like a dragon. I was, I'm disappointed in one thing though. I think it's been confirmed that it is not adapting Yakuza Zero. It is instead adapting Yakuza One, which I think is a big oversight, because Zero is the game that made the series popular in the West in the first place. And this is one of the rare cases of a prequel where you literally just go in sequential order. Zero, one, two, three, four, if you're going to make this a long-term thing. But oh well. One's not a bad place to start. I do think... Honestly, it would've been really cool to see an 80s Japanese period piece if they did a Zero adaptation. Oh yeah, definitely. And also, it's like a simple story. It's like... Criminals fighting over an, uh, a real estate dispute over a hey, empty lot in the city. That guy. 
But if we're getting we're getting an adaptation of one, so at least we'll see Haruka, Nishiki, Majima when he's crazy. Oh my fucking god! I just had a revelation. What? What? Who are they gonna cast to play me? Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> Did you forget I'm a prominent villain in that game? I forgot all about that. The model. Just a I can't believe that didn't cross my mind till just this second. We're gonna get a live action Shimano. Oh god. Oh come on. I needed that. I can do this. And it's gonna be like six episodes with uh part one sent out on October twenty-fifth and the next part November first, which I think that's really close together. Why not just do it weekly like Invincible does? Let's yeah, get it done. Ooh, can't play gather. This guy would be easy pickings. Was down. Yeah, that's how you do it. Yes, I'm a fast learner. Racka. Blossoming Uli Uli. Back on the foot. Yeah, they all get him. We'll kill you. Get ready, guys. Get ready for this. Let's do it. A twirling cathartic assault of your gourds to the enemy's melon. It's like the magic damage they're applying weapons attributes. Uh, okay, let's see what this is. Ooh! Oh, wow. I'm gonna knock him into somebody. It's not gonna work. Will that break his guard up? The stunner I was thinking of, but reckless shot. Oh, what he dodged! Oh fuck! Which means it didn't hit anybody else. You think I'm stupid? Who moved who to first screw? First screw. Yo! Oh wow! But that's their best move. I'm sorry. Well, Austin, we just read uh, Nami versus Miss Double's Fingers uh, fight in uh, One Piece. That's what that was. <laughs> okay, I doubt you need healing. Yo, let's do that thing. Right on. Watch where you're looking. You might get hurt. He defeated. <laughs> you wanna go? Let's get it done. Oh, that's no, it's this guy. Uh, I'm gonna heal them anyway because I worry we're gonna have a uh, scripted one right after this. Down he goes. Alright, so that was just another one. Oh, right down the road then. So, hype check on uh, the Like a Dragon series. How hype are you for it? Or worried? Eh, I'm cautiously optimistic. 
So they've like, already oh. they've already revealed the actor that's gonna play Kiryu. It is they are getting a Japanese actor to play him. Like an like uh and it's somebody who's been in uh, action shows before, like he's been in one of the common writer shows. And he's six one. So we at least know that Kiryu is gonna be tall. Which I think I think six one is Kiryu's height. Care to dance? Be honored. I'm gonna use you as your, our metric for whether this Kiryu works or not. I'm like, if, if you're not slobbering over looking at him shirtless, then they failed. Yeah. Oh, down he goes. Yeah. At this point, I'm like, let me see a trailer. You won't like this. Even if it's fake as shit and just the show's either too much or not enough of the good stuff, just show yeah, me one. It's like three months away. Three months away? October ain't that soon, is it? All right, June, July. Like, like four, four months away, sorry. I thought it was coming out in September. No, I, they said October 25th. Okay. Well, definitely time for me to clear my uh, backlog of shows before that comes out. I think I could, yeah, you know what, I'll be done, actually. Oh, Resolute Dragon, level 33 with Kasuga. Or level 30, sorry. Got to heal. Hey, there you go. So, I got suddenly got nostalgic for a game I played as a kid back in the day. Don't know if you played it. Well, what? Backyard Baseball. Uh, yeah, I remember seeing people play it. Yeah, and you're gonna hate me what made me remember it. What made you remember Lee it? Canyon was doing a playthrough of it. Oh. Oh, uh, Meep Canyon has a Let's Play channel now? Uh, his second day channel, Papa Meat, which is... Yeah, he said he was gonna step away from animating cause he didn't want to do cartoons to appeal to an algorithm and just wanted to make cartoons he wanted to make. That, and also, uh, Papa Meat, his second day challenge became his main source of revenue. I've... I'm gonna surprise you. I've actually been watching some of his videos uh, recently. Oh really? Yeah, I watched. Um, I'm trying to remember which ones I did watch. I watched the one that you talked about, the one about people who. Uh, Sorry if I messed this. Um, that roller coasters. No, not not that one. It was one. It was the one about like this. The the the, the one where. The one where, he, where Colonel Sanders is just awkwardly yeah. eating chicken next to him. Uh, yeah, that one. Well, whatever he was talking about with that one. Oh, uh, yeah, because you can't say it on the uh, mic. Oh, yeah, that one is great. I'm just not learning. And one you can relate to is where he talked about. Uh, uh, deaths on roller coasters and thrill rides. Cause you both uh, tend to have a fear about a uh, fear thrill ride. It seems like uh, he absolutely hates the sort of restraints on those roller coasters. Yeah, um, makes him feel claustrophobic. Yeah, that's why whenever I went on Sister's Great Escape, I like put my arms up so that they would like not harness on my neck. Yeah, it turns out I have something in common with the X-Man Storm. Hmm. I don't know if you knew that. Storm, uh, control of the force of nature. She's claustrophobic. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I, fin I finally, finally finished my uh, marathon of the uh, X-Men show from the 90s. And then promptly Leave finished uh, X-Men 97. X-Men 97 is the best thing Marvel's made since Endgame. And I'm not even exaggerating or being uh, uh, facetious. Yeah, like, so far it's the highest rated show on, oh, on streaming right now. It's the most high rated, highest rated show streaming, oh. period. There's no escape. No in the whole fucking city to run. You're gonna get your guts ripped out. Back in your fall was here, and you're going down. Barracuda Gansai, I didn't read the last part. It's the Ooh. Barracuda Ganja Alliance. We've fought, like, three sets of these already. I gotta see- Oh, it's a guard break! I'm seeing it again, I'm seeing it again! Yeah, grab attacks, break guard. BAM! Oh, oh, oh. Right into the car! Looks like I'm up. Oh, is this the one where we, uh... 
I'm looking for the one... Somebody that's weak to water so I can do the trippy flipper one. You know the one where he like spins around and makes a whirlpool? Got you now. <laughs> that one. Damn! Now you know why I chose that. Yeah, because depending because of his success in this show, uh, Mafa is fast tracking the next men movie. And they're are they're already in the editing phase for season two of ninety seven. Like I don't know how they managed. I was really scared this was gonna be like a nostalgic cash grab show. No, it's a legit good continuation of the original series, and also very good on its own too. Little hard to recommend to anybody that's never watched the original show though, because I watched it as soon as I was done with the uh, original show, and I'm like, wow, shit, this is like, this literally feels like season six of the show. Yeah, it has a massive jump up in animation quality, and mo and a lot of the prominent cast members are dead and had to be replaced. But I can do this. like, I feel like it didn't skip a beat, and there wasn't a single bad episode. Honestly, if you're that hyper curious and you do not have the time to watch the uh, original show, I would look up a, like a summary on YouTube or something. Who knew I added in? Look then go watch go. 97. Nice. Heavy beatdown. Mm hmm. Safe to say he's noticed us by now. Barracudas and the Genja are starting to swarm. Really not a fan. Oh, it doesn't matter which way I go. Being stalked by every criminal in Hawaii. Oh, uh, it's, it's the same uh, thing. Yeah. All right, so we actually have to go the way they're they're telling us. And oh god, did you saw the dead put and wolf in popcorn bucket? That's disgusting. That no vile human being should buy that. <laughs> oh my god. It's an officially licensed Marvel product. You know goddamn well nobody's gonna be eating popcorn with that. Well, Deadpool knew what it was designed for. Okay, you asked but he decided after all. Okay, I'm up. Let me have some of that sausage, bub. <laughs> oh, and that would feel terrible. They just... Oh, when they drew a, a butter onto his face. Oh, I didn't see the trailer for that. But also, by the way, no disrespect to Steve Bloom. Cal Dodd's my Wolverine. Also, my favorite next man, Rogue. Oh yeah, I heard she was great in that M97. Oh, uh, she. I, I, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think she's getting nominated for a primetime Emmy for it. Which good? Oh, wow. Which? Well, she better be because she fucking destroyed it. Like she has a massive arc in that show. And that's the thing I like about X Men '97 most. Uh, the Fox show, the Fox movies have ruined people's perception of the X Men. Everyone thinks that Wolverine's leader of the X Men. I mean, it's stronger now. No. If you think the X Men, the uh, leader of the X Men is Wolverine, no. That's all I have to say to that. No. Oh. The real leader is Cyclops. First of all. Second of all, what this, the big strength of uh, the X Men uh, animated series is. Uh, they give every member of the team time in their own episodes and time to grow. Even though sometimes it's mostly Cyclops. <laughs> but I think everybody had uh, the right amount of uh, character arcs. And uh, I think whoever was uh, designing the show, I'm uh, just a bit too horny for Magneto. Oh god, I saw the first trap picks. And my first thing was said, okay, to all those... Uh, Keep a obsession over Magneto. I get it now. Did you see the one of him restrained and he's in his nothing but his underwear? Oh, yeah. 
I was gonna send that to you, but I'm like, ah, I think that's a spoiler for the show, so no. I shouldn't post that, because it, it, this season's only been out for a couple of, about a month or two. By our recording, anyway. By the time you guys are hearing this, it's already, it ended two months ago. The first season, anyway. Yeah, and it's also considered the first official uh, project for the newly formed Marvel animation. Which is Elephant. which is interesting though, because like they, you know how like they have like the Marvel Studios intro. Now they have one like that for animation, but not only do they have X Men '97 in like and like What If in there, they also have like screenshots and like bits from older uh, Marvel animation projects. So not technically true. <laughs> All like, oh, right. Yeah, because right. they, they have like some of the old Captain America Silver Surfer screens, and then you see like the zombie Captain America from What If, and then X Men '97. Also, never skip that uh, that intro. Never skip that intro. Don't ever do it. You you won't uh, be able. Just, to. You never will be able to. Plus, um, I'm just plus, and um, in that '97, the intro never stays the same. They change something about it every time you watch. Oh, I won't say why. But when you watch, you'll understand. I also saw someone describe it as so pop bros with superheroes. Accurate. Did you say that's an accurate description? Accurate. <laughs> oh. And I have the same opinion on this that I did before I even watched the show. Anybody complaining that uh, X Men has not gone woke? You're fucking dumb. You have you are oh, you're chemically imbalanced. You're dumb. Uh, that reminds me of someone uh, not so for work on I found was a big mob comic book nut. And there were rumors going around that uh, the uh, MCU uh, X Men might be female led. He said, "Oh, the jokes on the chuds, the best." As uh, characters on the X-Men are all women. Yes! Ah, uh, well, I, I like everybody mostly equally. I think my favorite characters are, um... Rogue, Storm... Uh... Beast. I, I like Beast's dynamic. Like, he like he has, like, he's, like, super strength and, like, a, like a animal, uh... Animal-like agility, but... He mostly just uses a brain. Like uh, he, just, um, he, sp he spends like the entire first season in prison because uh, he's being he he wants to prove in court that mutants aren't inherently violent. Like he can easily break out if he wants to. But he's like, no, no, I need to prove a point. I just remember back to that old Fantastic Four cartoon where they had Magneto as a villain, and. Oh god, he was like a grumpy old man complaining about everything. About what do you want? on how he's superior to everyone and fuel is for lesser beings. Uh, Magneto kind of still does that, actually. Especially now. Was he defeated by a wooden More gun at least? No. Ah. Never find a kind <laughs> actually, Magneto <laughs> did some seriously insane yeah, shit. Oh, hold on. He's infested with these guys. Screw it then. Let's give them what they want. I don't even want to spoil the most horrific thing he did in 97. Like, I was actually cringing when I saw what he did in, like, the second to last episode. Like, oh, I heard that was actually, that actually happened in the comics. Yeah, apparently that's what I heard, uh... Yeah, they recreated that, uh, deep scene to scene, too. Mm-hmm. That's what the anime series did best, just adapted, uh, bits from the comic to, to, the, uh, to the page. Watch where you're looking! You might get hurt! Yeah! Let's get it, Joe! Alright, I'm just remembering that solid J-Day video he did. How did that? Well, um, I just... I spent time... Oh, what is it this time, Richards? Is it a shorter... Nope, just a wooden plate. It just hits back in the one to head with it. Alright, I won't talk too much about it or else I am afraid I will spoil 97. Okay, no way. If nothing else interesting happens or no bit start, this is the episode where John talks about X-Men for a while. <laughs> Time to go all out. Uh, Marvel made mutants cool again. 
after they tried to make them irrelevant just so they could force Box the uh, Fox to sell. Well, now that Mech's men are on the resurgence, make Marvel vs. Capcom 5. Not even close. You think you won? I guess they saved the best for last. What's the call? We pulling out? No way. Kiryu san let this job to us. Run away now, we just embarrass Ichiban is no pull out king. <laughs> Let's one shot this creep. What do you say? You guys with me? Just a bit longer. Hey, buddy boy. I mean, after all, one of Ichiban's uh, battle barks is I'm going in. I'll slaughter hmm. you. We're in this together. Show them what we got. Actually, that might be a dachi. Boy. Get oh, yeah, such a good this. boy with, with my down. little nephew. What? Oh. Kasuga has learned ultimate tag team. This colossal killer move can be performed together with up to four party members whose height meters are all full. Press R2 to activate it to attack. The more party members who do it, join in, the greater these. It's a fucking all out attack from Persona! Oh, we. Whatever this is, it's probably gonna be the thumbnail of today's episode. Let's do this, guys! Look at yeah. Here's what true friends are made of! Oh damn! Thumbnail right there. Well, them walking away from explosions. Hell yeah. Yeah. I did like that one oh. shot they showed us in the tutorial. I was, like, I was like, where the hell is that? Breath of okay, coconut shower. Put some hey, lime thanks, in the no. coconut and Ready. puke it up the next morning. I, was, I thought you said put the lime in the coconut and then gargle it and then spit it out to feed your baby birds. <laughs> no, I don't know why I thought that. Oh, Hero's Guts automatically revives him if he dies. We don't need that. Oh, shit. Let's go. Breaking top. Oh! What the fuck? And you can freely move that too! Oh wow. Like, uh, it's for good damage. Power playing. control it then. What was it, estrogen gauze for uh, bleeding? Right. Screw you! Screw you! You're in it now. The way he said that was funny. Be right with oh, I needed that. Ah, oh, I just used my last one, damn it. Oh, fuck. Oh, he's weak to electricity. Have a jellyfish. Oh, oh I'm paralyzed too. What if every time I use that move, it plays like the dance song from SpongeBob when they're dancing in SpongeBob's house? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that episode. Ah, back when SpongeBob was watchable. Well, oh uh, yeah, I know you're not gonna. They're not gonna watch it. Hell no! Yeah, I was about to say it started to get better, but I know you're not gonna watch it no matter what. That. Yeah, that time for me has passed. I'm sorry. Prepare yourself. And, uh. Refreshments, anyone? Uh, that spin up they just did with Patrick is completely unhinged, even more so than the show itself. Yeah, and don't take this to mean that I'm like, oh, like I'm like a purist, like, oh, back with back in my child days were better. No, I just don't, I just genuinely don't have an interest in SpongeBob anymore. Yeah, he just had good itself. I know, I'm just trying to, I, I know someone in the comments can be like, oh, you're like a Gen, you're like the Gen 1 for, but for SpongeBob. I'm like, first of all, I hate Gen 1 in Pokemon fandom to begin with. Cool. Secondly, no. Whoa! Holy shit! Thank you, Eric, for getting me off that topic of conversation. Think I'm getting strong. Rack up. Who knew I had 
Look at me go. Let. Nice. Ah. Think I'm getting better at this. Yeah. Never getting tired of that. Especially since you got to be doing that a lot for the Persona playthrough. That's got him scattered. You again? Just can't turn down trouble. <gasps> oh, listen, Auntie. What are you doing here? Yamai hasn't killed you yet? This isn't about him. We came to talk to you. I've got nothing to say to any of you. At least hear us out. There are two people missing. Look, have you seen them? They were last seen here, about a couple weeks ago. Then Yamai's the one you want to talk to. Yamai's been after them too. He hasn't had any luck yet either. Hmm. Sorry, I don't know him. Now get out of here. You people make my Elsa flare up. She doesn't mince words. <sighs> she didn't recognize Akane-san anyway. This is a complete bust. He only just got here. Searched 99 times. Well said, Chitose. You'd make a good detective. Fine. Guess we'll just ask around, huh? Kanesan and Lani were here at one point. Maybe somebody saw them. 